Hi, this is John Sales for Trailers from Hell, and welcome to District 9, a 2009 science fiction action film directed by Neil Blomkamp. And any resemblance between this movie and events occurring in the slums of Johannesburg, South Africa, is absolutely intentional. Like 1988's Alien Nation, we have discontented alien visitors living ghettoized on Earth, and the decision has been made to relocate them to a different refugee camp, very much against their will. The movie was written by Blomkamp and his wife, Terry Tatchell, expanded on a short he'd made that drew the attention of Peter Jackson, who became one of the producers. South African actor Charlto Copley plays the human lead, an incompetent bureaucrat who can't control either the aliens or the Blackwater-like private security firm hired by the government to do the dirty work, who, much to his dismay, accidentally begins to develop some empathy for the hard-shelled prawns. At the same time, he's developing the worst skin disease since David Hedison and the fly. The prawns in the film are nicknamed after a huge reddish South African cricket known to feed on cat food if you don't put a lid on the dish, a predilection they share with these aliens. Somehow, District 9 didn't do for cat food what E.T. did for Reese's Pieces. The prawns are beautifully designed CGI creatures done in a collaboration between New Zealand and Vancouver FX shops. The movie was filmed in a particularly bleak area in Johannesburg with red cameras owned by Peter Jackson and uses mockumentary, direct interview, and live action techniques mixed together. One of my favorite things about this movie is that these aliens are not cuddly. They really are alien and kind of icky looking. And that the human protagonist is such an insensitive nerd. He got the gig because his father-in-law, powerful within the government, knows he can be controlled. This is a movie that's not just for fanboys. And one of the scariest aspects of it, while we're reevaluating the militarization of our police forces, is that most of the lethal hardware exhibited is real. District 9, you definitely don't want to live there. There's a lot of secrets in District 9. 